Hey guys, this is Caroline in the Fast Lane, and today we're talking about storage in the next generation Corvette. One of the concerns with Chevrolet moving to a mid engine design was the storage capacity. Owners in the past were accustomed to fairly large storage in the back. And in a video coming up, we'll show you how much we can pack into this Corvette. But for right now, we're going over how GM has designed access to the front and rear storage compartments. Starting in the front, okay, some people call this a frunk, but this is not a VW, this is a supercar, so we're calling it the front storage. To gain access, there's a touch pad underneath the driver's side headlight. You can use this when the key is within three feet or the car is unlocked. This space is perfect for an overnight bag, a gym bag, or a small cooler. GM also has collapsible storage that will fit in as well. There's also access to the battery charging port. More details to come on that later, so make sure you like and subscribe. Moving to the rear, there is a touch pad above the license plate. This space is great for carry-on luggage, golf bags, tennis rackets, roof panel storage, and it's excellent for takeout because of the ambient heat from the 500 horsepower sitting right in front of it. To close, you just pull down and push until the power latch activates and it will automatically close the rest of the way. Both compartments can be accessed through the key fob right here as well as the buttons on the driver's side. And everything is controlled electronically, so coming up we'll walk through how to get access if the battery dies. Until then, see you down the fast lane.